now let us discuss about resolution in predicate logic example these are the various well formed formulas in one of the previous video we have seen an example regarding how to convert the statements or facts into the well formed formula i will share that video link in the description so please go through that video for converting uh, the corresponding facts or statements into the well formed formulas or predicate logic or first order logic and already in one of the previous video we have seen about how to convert well formed formulas or predicate logic statements or first order logic statements into the class form or conjunctive normal form i will also share that video link in the description so first here we need to convert all these well formed formulas or predicate logic statements or first order logic statements into the class form or cnf cnf means conjunctive normal form let us convert one by one so first statement for all x food of x implies likes of john comma x here we have universal quantifier if the statement contains universal quantifier then directly we can eliminate the universal quantifier next this is in the form of p implies q we know the formula for p implies q negation p r q so negation p means food of x x here the variables must be unique here we have x in the next statement also we have x in the third statement also we have x so that's why it is better to use x1 negation food of x1 or q so what is q here likes of john comma x in place of x let us use x1 why because the variables must be unique different next one food of apple and food of vegetable if the well formed formula contains and operator then we have to divide that statement into multiple statements so here the first statement is food of apple next what is the next statement next class form or conjunctive normal form statement food of vegetables food of vegetables next one for all x for all y universal quantifier so directly we can eliminate the universal quantifier next this is in the form of p implies q so this statement is p this statement is q we know the formula for p implies q negation p negation eats of x comma y already x1 is used so now let us use x2 x2 comma so y so this is the first y so use y1 so negation eats of x2 comma y1 negation and means or de morgan law negation of negation killed so negation of negation means killed okay original variable killed so killed of killed of x in place of x use x2 or food of for y use y1 so this is the statement negation you uh, we can directly eliminate the universal quantifier so eliminate x and y so negation eats of x2 comma y1 negation of and means r negation of negation means we can write this variable killed of x2 or food of here we have y so y1 next statement eats of anil comma peanuts and alive of anil so this is already in class form only just like this one if you observe the second one here also this is already in class form or conjunctive normal form so this is already in the class form 
but here we have one operator so we can divide the statement into two separate statements so first one is eats of eats of anil comma peanuts eats of anil comma peanuts so next one yalai wow funny yalai wow funny next statement for all x eats of anil comma x implies eats of harry comma x universal quantifier so directly we can eliminate this next this is in the form p implies q so the formula is negation p of negation eats of anil comma anil comma x x already x2 is over so let us take x3 so negation eats of anil comma x3 or or eats of negation p or q harry comma harry comma x in place of x let us use x3 why because the variables must be unique different next one for all x alive of alive of x implies negation tilde of x so these two are the additional statements we have included in that problem okay why because alive means not killed not killed means alive so for all x directly we can eliminate this one why because this is universal quantifier so this is in the form p implies q so negation alive of negation p of x x3 is already over so consider x4 x4 or negation p or q negation killed of negation killed of x4 so next one last one for all x negation killed of x implies alive of x so directly we can eliminate the universal quantifier so this is in the form p implies q so negation p or q so negation of negation means that negation will be eliminated so killed of x4 x5 ka r alive of x5 so all these statements are in class form or conjunctive normal form now we have to solve this problem is john likes peanuts so first we need to convert this statement into the class form so here what is the predicate likes is the predicate and the first argument is john second argument is peanuts so now we have to prove whether john like peanuts or not in order to solve this problem first we have to take contradiction of this negation likes of john comma peanuts and uh, we have to solve the problem step by step so that we will get some empty class if we get empty class then we can say that john likes peanuts now let us solve that problem so here the first parent class is what is the problem negation likes of john comma peanuts john comma peanuts first space constraints i am writing p p a now we have to select another parent class that should contain likes of john comma peanuts so that we can cancel likes of john comma peanuts and negation likes of john comma peanuts already we have seen that resolution algorithm if one parent class contains l literal then another parent class should contain negation l literal okay so if we observe here uh, the first class so this is the first first one we have to select the first one first class form so what is the first uh, class form negation food of x1 or likes of john comma x1 so now in place of x1 we have to replace with peanuts so in place of x1 replace with peanuts then we will get negation food of what is x1 replace with peanuts p a or likes of john comma in place of x1 replace with peanuts then likes of john comma peanuts and negation likes of john comma peanuts will be cancelled 
So what is the result now? So for space uh, constraints, here I am writing so that I can use this entire space. So what is the result? Negation food of, after cancel, we got negation food of peanuts. Peanuts. So here in place of, uh, here if you observe the third one, here we have vegetables. In place of vegetables, directly if you substitute peanuts, then both will be cancelled. So directly we will get the solution. But this is 8th mark question or 15 mark question. So it is better to use some long procedure. So if you see the fourth one, here we have food of y1, so that both will be cancelled. So what is the class form number? Fourth one. Fourth one. Now here we have y1. In place of y1, replace with peanuts. Peanuts. So here what is the after substituting we will get negation eats of x2. For x2 there is no replacement. x2 comma for y1 peanuts are killed of x2. For x2 there is no replacement. Killed of x2 are food of y1. For y1 replace with peanuts. Peanuts. So negation food of peanuts food of peanuts both will be cancelled so what is the result negation eats of x2 comma peanuts are killed of x2 killed of x2 here we have to select another parent class that should contain either eats or negation killed negation killed so first let us search for eats Eats. So if you see here, if you see the fifth class, eats of anil comma peanuts. Here we have x2. In place of x2, in place of x2, replace with anil. Anil. In place of x2, replace with anil. Then we will get here already we have uh, yeah negation. Negation. Negation eats of. In place of x2 replace with anil. In place of x2 replace with anil. So anil comma peanuts. Here are killed off. In place of x2 replace with. Here directly I am doing the replacement. Anil. So here what is the statement? Eats of. Here directly I am writing this statement. Eats of anil comma peanuts. So eats of anil comma peanuts as well as negation eats of anil comma peanuts. So both will be cancelled. So what is the result? Killed of anil is the result. Killed of anil is the result. Now we have to select for another parent class that should contain negation killed. So here we have negation killed. So what is this number? Eighth number. Eighth number. So eighth number. So here we have anil in place of in place of x4 replace with anil. So negation alive of anil or negation killed of anil. So negation killed of anil, killed of anil. Both will be reap. Both will be cancelled. So next we have negation alive of anil. If you see the problem here, what is the sixth one? Alive of anil. So alive of anil, negation alive of anil. So both are cancelled. So here we got an empty class. So with this we can say that we got the contradiction. John likes peanuts. So that uh, question is correct. Okay, Why? Because we got the empty class. So in this way we can solve any problem by resolution in predicate logic. Please like the video. Subscribe to the channel as well as share the channel with your friends. Thanks for watching.